coming to you from the International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was out of Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors just as they are finishing up this 1937 Ford Street Ride I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around and we'll take a quick look at it. Steve, how are you, brother? I'm hot. Now I'm telling you, it is hot out here today. Summertime so, in Tennessee. It's so hot, I can't, my brain ain't even thinking right. <laughs> 22nd time we've tried to do this interview, oh, neither Lordy. one of us can get our act together. I oh, hear you. So anyways, we got, what, a 37 Ford here. Yeah, 1937 Coast to Coast body. Randy Rudder's the owner. Randy Rudder's the owner. And Moore's and Giles Giles is leather. the leather. What's yeah. the color? It's Tribeca Mayan okay. color. Okay, okay, here so we go. Now, so now we're going. Now we're, now we're on with it. Here we go. <laughs> and and then, you and the boys did what with it? Well, obviously, you know, we did a full custom uh, 3D door panel and then things like that. And we made it try to look like a bench seat, but we had... We pulled the console all the way through the bottom of the seat so you can have a place to slide it open, put all your drinks and switches and, and things like that. And he's got a double den um, radio that you can hook up Bluetooth and you know stuff like that. Fixed him some custom speakers in the back and just made him a cool looking interior in the, in the car. And we used a dark brown leather and then a dark brown stitch with a dark brown accent cloth in there. If you notice it, it's just something different that makes make these cars look you know, cool. Right, looking. you gotta make it unique. Mm -hmm. It's a street ride. It's got a, a traditional type of street ride interior yeah. in it. And when I looked at it, I was like, man, those seat bottoms are awful deep. You know, that's not a problem. It gives you a lot of room. But you were, it's a bench seat with a console in it. And then I stood back and looked at it, and I was like, you're right. That is a bench seat with a console in it. Yeah. So no, I think that's one of the coolest features of that car is when you sit back, I think, because there again, you know, I can't imagine what it's like for you. But for me, even coming out here, you get accustomed to seeing the, you know, bucket seats and consoles right. and that kind of stuff so when you look in it your brain just automatically thinks bucket seats in a console and i didn't even look at the back of it but once i did that i yeah. was like no i think that's a cool feature yeah we decided on that one to go with the, the bench seat look it just looks good in that car and it sets you back where you need to because you know a lot of them aftermarket or fiberglass cars you don't have a whole lot of room to put an aftermarket seat in that looks good so this one right here is all hand built. It's laid down and, and set all the way back to where it fits the car comfortably and it looks good and you know and you know don't, it don't overpower it. You know everything nice. fits nice and neat and comfortable to set in and drive. The automatic car it looks like it's got a LS1 uh, so. possibly in the, in the car. So right. air conditioning got to have air conditioning right days on. like today. I'm telling you, <laughs> the one that works, air conditioning that works. Yeah. So it, it turned out pretty cool. And, we, and then we did the trunk the same way. It's got a little fold down panel in the back. If you notice, well, the convertible top's a hard top convertible. So it's a 37 Roadster. Right. So when you, you can pull the top off and leave it when it's a little cooler. And if it's warm like today, you put the top on it, roll the windows up, throw the air conditioner on and go for a cruise. So what is, what is in the area where the convertible top would go down? Is that battery and stuff like that? No, back, there's a gas tank back there and then, uh, yeah, the battery's back here. Also, on-off switch, it's fuse panel and things like that. It's got it back here. And then underneath the floor, it's got a little hidden compartment that you can put cleaning stuff and things in there. It, it's uh, pretty handy. You know, just cleans everything up, makes it look good. Did Randy say what color it is? I'm not sure what color that color is. No, he didn't tell me the color, but it's like a copperish. I do. It looks good. Under, it's sun, it's yeah. really cool looking. Yeah. No, I think you and the boys killed another one, Steve. I think this is a, like I said, it's got that traditional street ride to it, but it's still got your flair. Well, Scotty, I sure appreciate it. I think it, I'm a, I sent him some pictures. He seemed to be tickled with it in the pictures, and usually in person it looks much more, much better than the pictures. So. Right. So, well, yeah. if you send pictures, he'll be here tomorrow to pick it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, he's excited and can't wait to get it back. Awesome. Well, thanks for letting me come out, brother. Scotty, as always, appreciate it. So there you go from Steve Holcomb, Pro Auto Custom Interiors, a very cool 1937 Ford Street Ride. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video. Thank you.